Hello and thank you for coming to check out this video. If you're studying for any exam, especially the CCNA, you're going to want to stick around and check this out. For me, whenever I'm studying for an exam, I really like to use note cards. I just hate making them. I hate writing them up, I hate carrying them around, and I hate forgetting them and then having an opportunity where I could have studied a little bit but I don't have my note cards with me. In this video, I'm going to show you an application called Anki, which is called Intelligent Note Cards. The reason they call them Intelligent Note Cards is because there's been studies and research that have been performed around studying and how people develop short-term memory and long-term memory for things that they're learning. The information that has come from those studies and from that research has been integrated into the algorithm for this application. I've used it on many of the certificates that I've achieved and I use it on anything that I'm really wanting to learn, even if it's not for a certificate. Before we get into how to install it and how to use it, let me show you a couple of things about it. For starters, on the note cards, you can have just text or you can have images, you can have video, you can have audio as well. So this is awesome because if you learn by hearing or if you learn by seeing or if you learn by reading, that's really going to help you in building your note cards. But if you don't have much time to build out your own note cards or you want to have a baseline, I got something for you because you can go here on the web and get shared decks from other people. Right here, we can see that there's a shared deck for the new CCNA. But more importantly, you want to look for decks that have a high number of cards and also a high rating. And we're very lucky here because this deck in particular has that. It has a high number of cards and it has a high rating. I'll go ahead and I'll import that and I'll show you how we can start taking a look at it. I'll also use this deck to show you a demonstration about how to use the application. Before I can show you the demonstration, I have to install the application, so I'll walk through that real quick. To get the application, you want to go to apps.ankyweb.net and you can get the application for Windows, Mac, or even Linux. You can even get this software for mobile phones, but there is a cost that comes with it, and the cost is minimal. I paid that cost seven years ago when I first started studying for my Cisco certifications. It was the CCNA that I was studying for back then. And I, I still use the application on my smartphone. I, if I could go back seven years, I would spend that money again. It's money well spent. I have zero regrets about it. And I'll tell you why here in just a moment. Whether you put the application on your computer, on your phone, or on both, I highly recommend making a web account with them. This way you can have your cards backed up to the cloud. But not only that, you can have your cards synced, right? So if you, if you have your phone and you have your desktop application, you can have your cards, whatever progress you've made, you can sync it to the web. And then when you get on your smartphone, you can sync it to whatever is on the web. You can pick up where you left off. And then when you're done on your phone, you can hit sync again, and that would sync it to the web. So when you pick up on your computer again, you'll have the ability to, to pick up where you left off on your phone. To import this deck, I'm just going to click on it, and then I'm going to scroll down to the point where I see the download option. Then I'll be prompted to either open it or save the file. I'm going to open the file with the, with the Anki application, and now you can see here that it's actually a deck in my application. In order to get this onto my iPhone, because I do have the application on my iPhone, I'm going to click the sync button, and then I have to log in using my web account. Another thing that's good to do is set the number of cards, new cards, that you'll get a day to something low. You don't want to start out with something all too high like 20. It's better to go with, you know, around five or so if you're learning a topic for the first time. The reason that I say that is because you'll get your five new cards today and you might get through that relatively quickly, but tomorrow you'll get your five new cards for that day and then you'll also have to go through all the cards that you need to do a refresher on. Think about how that will kind of accumulate over days and weeks. You may find yourself in the spot where if you're doing 20 new cards a day, you're getting all those 20 plus the ones from the day before, and then on the, the third day or the fourth day, you're getting all your 20 new cards plus all the cards that you need to do refreshers on from one or two or three days prior. Let's go ahead and jump over to the mobile app and I'll show you how we can log out on the mobile app and download the cards from there. Once on the mobile app and you have it synced up to your web account, when you go to do a sync, it's going to ask you if you want to upload to Anki or download from the Anki website. It's very important to select the right one because if I were to do an upload to Anki web right now, I would overwrite what's there on the website because on my phone right now, I don't have any cards. 
So it would go from being on Anki Web that I have the deck for the CCNA to me having no cards at all. Once I have the deck on my phone, I can start going through cards. And say if I was in line at the grocery store, I could just start going through my cards right there. You know, rather than just sitting there and looking on Facebook or whatever else I might be doing, reading the news, or just staring off into space, I could be making progress towards my CCNA by studying my note cards for the day. On the next day, when I go through some refresher cards, you'll see here that for good, it actually shows that I can do it in one day instead of 10 minutes. And then easy still shows four days. But as I start to hit that a little bit more and more, you'll see that good will become, you know, five days. Easy will be a week. And then as you go through and you keep on marking it as easy, you can get to the point where you don't see a card for a month or two more months or three months. And then when it does pop up, you're either going to, going to get it right or you're going to get it wrong. And if you get it wrong, then the algorithm will actually start showing it to you more frequently until you start marking it as easy again. Essentially what this does is it allows you to study only the information that you are consistently getting wrong and it will push out the inf information that you are consistently getting right. So really you're only studying in the areas where you're weak and not focusing too much on the areas where you, you're already executing very well. But because the question will pop up after a week, two weeks, a month, two months, it gives you a chance to revisit the information and see if you've retained it or if you need to start seeing it more frequently again. If you've used the application before and you have any feedback on it, please comment down below and let us know what your thoughts on it. If you're using the application for the first time, but you're having a little bit of some difficulty with it, please comment down below and let us know what it is that you're trying to do. Myself or maybe somebody else who has some experience can help get you where you need to be so that you can really start moving forward with studying for your certification. Lastly, you might have seen it, but I had a deck in there for the 300-815 exam, which is the Advanced Call Control and Mobility. I recently passed that exam, and I'm, I'm developing a deck that I'm going to share for other people to use as well, so that they can have one more resource when studying for that exam. I hope there's been something of value for you in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.